So today I'm going to be cutting up some of these nodules that I found in the last video. I think a couple of them might have calcite and a few of them have agate for sure. They might have calcite in them too. So yeah, we'll cut them up and see what's inside them. I'm really curious about this green one too. There's a... Uh, I'm still not too sure what it is, but maybe after slicing it and uh, polishing it, I'll be able to get a better look at it over a flashlight or something. But yeah, uh, let's start at the saw and start cutting some rocks. Well, I think I'm going to start out with these three nodules. Uh, they're likely calcite, but I'm not 100% sure, so we'll cut them open and see what's in them. And yeah, even if they're calcite, they might polish up nicely, so who really knows? It could be some pretty cool specimens. So that first one did end up being calcite, like I thought. But there's a few different colors in there. So I don't know if it's entirely calcite or if there's another mineral in there, but it's definitely interesting. Maybe once I polish it, a bit more detail will come out. Because uh, with this really coarse tile saw blade, it kind of chips away at softer materials, so you can't really see all the detail until you polish it up. Yeah, uh, pretty interesting one. We'll see what's in the other two now. Well, this is the second one. You can see there's some really nice red spots in there. I don't know what those are from and what almost look like dendrites down there, but they might be some other kind of inclusion. But it's almost like there's agate mixing with the calcite. It's very strange, but kind of cool. There's just some weird stuff going on with these. All right, so this is uh, the third one. You can see there's like an agate uh, seam going through the middle of it Yeah, just really weird and there's some red in there and some bluish green color It's a very strange nodule Not exactly sure what's going on in there, but It's definitely interesting and this one seems hard enough that I could probably try calving it so yeah, I might give that a shot with one of the halves and maybe the other half I'll just polish as is, just as a specimen. Alright, I think I might go with this one next. Since it has a bit of agate showing in the end of it. The rest of it might be calcite, but it might have some pretty cool pattern in there, so... Yeah, that one might be pretty cool and I'll probably cut this one too. It'll have some, I think just by the color, it might have some white banding on the inside, but I'm not exactly sure, so I guess we'll check it out.
Well, this nodule has some pretty interesting stuff going on in there. A bunch of little polka dots in that white area. And then it goes to like a green layer. And then another white layer and then agate right on the very top. Just like a skin of agate. But I really like that center with the polka dots. It's something I've never seen before. Well, here's that agate nodule, now that I cut it up. It's actually quite fractured on the inside. Lots of the agates that I find around there are like that, so... Yeah, I don't really know why it happens. Maybe it's from forest fires or whatever. Something heating it up and then cooling it super quickly and fractures up the inside. Still kind of cool. It'll be good for the tumbler or something but I don't think I'd really spend the time to cab that kind of stuff. Just a little bit too fractured for my taste. So now for this big one. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna cut it. I was thinking some slices this way would be nice. But at the same time, a couple specimens chopped down the center this way would be kind of cool too. Not too sure. I think I'm gonna go at it this way, just so that I get a little bit of agate in each slice and I might expose some kind of pattern in the middle. So then it'll follow through with all the slices. Yeah, I think I'll just go with it and try slicing it in that direction. So glad I decided to slice that one up that way. It's just like perfect. There's like cool calcite banding and it kind of flows into the agate. And then there's like, yeah, it's just crazy. That thing's definitely one of the best agates I've ever found. It's just amazing. And then I took another slice and then I saw this. Isn't that just crazy? Like, it almost reminds me of orbicular rhyolite with all the hairs going through there. But, uh, yeah, that's just the calcite kind of mixing with the agate, I think. And, yeah, just crazy. I've never seen any agates like that ever. Like, that's just amazing. And then, uh, Here's another slice. Yeah, that one's just as amazing. I think this one might make some cool cabs or something. Not 100% sure if I really want to make something out of that because it's just so cool. Might be best to keep it as a slice or something, but yeah, that's amazing. I've never seen anything like that. Well, this is going to be the last one for today. There's some nice green stuff in there, but I don't know what it is. And I think it might be a nodule, but I'm not exactly sure. It's something I haven't identified yet, so... Yeah, it'll be interesting to take a couple thin slices and polish them up and see what it looks like when the light goes through it and see if that might help me identify it.
even that green one had some really interesting stuff going on inside of it. It's really light green in person in the middle. And then it goes a bit dark outside. And it's almost like there's dendrites going through the middle of it. It's kind of like a black inclusion kind of. It's very interesting. It seems more like a silicate to me. It's not felted or anything, so it's not like a serpentine or jade or anything. Might be just some really included quartz or agate or something, but definitely something I've never seen before. Well, now that we got these all sliced up, I'm going to polish all these red ones. I'm going to polish this one since I really like those polka dots. Just face polishes and I'm going to polish both sides on one of these green ones so that I get a good idea of how it works and stuff. So yeah, I'm just really stoked on this red one. It's just so amazing. Well, here's what those nodules look like all sliced up. I really like the red one. That's by far my favorite. And it actually polished up pretty nicely for being, you know, calcite mixed with agate. It's not too soft or anything like that. And, uh, yeah, a nice even polish over it. And I really like this polka dot one. It almost looks like a galaxy stone to me, but except it's in a single nodule instead of several nodules in basalt so yeah just a really interesting one there and even these calcites can be quite interesting there's blue and red and all kinds of colors and some more clear ones and I made a little bit of a almost like a cabochon but not quite just a freeform kinda and this green one, I'm not exactly sure what it is still, but it shows a lot of light through it in this thin of a slice and polished up decently. There's still a few pits in there, but I'm sure if I stuck with it long enough, I could get those out. It's a very interesting one for sure. And yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. I just want to say thank you for a thousand subscribers, it really means a lot to me, and I can't really thank you guys enough. Hoping to do a giveaway sometime in the future, but I haven't figured all that stuff out yet. I might try and do some trades, try and figure out all the shipping and all that. And yeah, thank you guys for all the support. I couldn't really show how much I appreciate it, but yeah. If you liked the video, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.